Uh, sorry, the lighting's weird. The sun sets in my window. Ah, this video is this video is this video is uh, I glitched. This video is my mom reading my tarot cards. Uh. <coughs> Sorry, I feel so anxious today. I feel like I need to speak like this. This video was my mom reading my tarot cards and she talks about my sex life and stuff, so it's really entertaining. But I hope you enjoy. But it is sponsored by Skillshare because I have a you know, they, they sponsor, I don't know, I like I like them, so I like promoting them and it pays my rent. So thanks, guys. But I will have the sponsored segment at the end of the video because you've probably heard it all before because I've talked about them a lot. Anyway, uh, yeah, the ad for them will be at the end just so everyone's aware. It's the sponsored video. Okay, bye, enjoy. Set your intention now. Okay. My intention that it, it'll help you. Thanks. Anything for your positive well-being. Thanks, Matt. That's probably enough. Is that a photograph? Yeah, it's from Google Maps of a kid like holding and going up to a nanny. Oh, now we're going to pick ten cards okay. for the tree life, one at a time, and then you just slip it over to me. How many? So, well, I tell you. Oh, one, at, one a at a time. Another one? Yeah, we're going to do ten all together. One. Because it denotes something else that they're upside down, but I want to do it the same way, okay? There's a nice um, major arcana coming out. The stars is a fabulous card, a page of wands, chariot. Oh, lovely. Very strong card, the emperor. Seven. Devil. It's not what you think. Uh-oh. Wands is fire. Cups. Emotions. And one more. The hermit. Very nice. Again, a major arcana. So the number one is your um, where you are at the moment in okay. terms of your spiritual life. Yeah. Six. I don't like swords particularly myself, but they are air cards to do with mind. You know, more more thinking yeah. than in the in the in the real world. And six normally means it's help that you're, you're a stage in your life. And it's it's helpful assistance so that whatever you need for your spiritual for for yourself at the moment, it's not like you're advanced or you're starting. It just means you're sort of on a journey, but that is going to be whatever help you need for that spiritual journey is going to be there for you. Okay. The number two card is this. This is normally related to your responsibilities. So again, you know, maybe a child would have no responsibility. You mm. know, so this is responsibility that you're taking towards your own life. Ten means it's actually you've sort of mastered it. I mean, basically, again, it's it's your swords. Swords is rational, scientific. So when we're talking about the spirit, a sword you wouldn't really talk about spirit because it's it's mind and thoughts. And again, this is saying that your responsibility. So you're very very clear headed and clarity. And number number ten is a mastery of clarity, science. So that and so that's your area of responsibility and you're very very clear very very definite about it so there's no wavering yeah and you're pretty confident in your ability to plan out make plans make rational plans about your life number three the stars now again the stars is, it's a major arcana it's a star is usually as you can see in terms of its donating it means it's the world it's the world's your oxter basically the number three card here in this position says these are the limiting factors in your life at the moment but the stars means there's no there's actually no limiting factors okay. which means that which is very unusual mm. so the stars is you know literally the world is at your feet yeah number four practical matters and usually relating to yeah practical your, your practical activities and money yeah and again very much related you know you have again look at where they are in terms of the the neighboring cards so you've got a ten of swords here in the relation to your plans well-made plans rational know exactly what you're doing chariot again is a mastery card it's like in charge so again it would seem to mean that you you know you, that you you are in, you're in, you're literally in charge of your finances you have okay. no worries there responsibility so you have absolutely no chariot is like literally the the chariot is is a, it's a masculine card and it's like don donating mastery power charge you know again you know no problems there five five donates yeah I, I again five always is a conflict the five is your position okay. yeah that, so that is anything in your life is going to create a conflict and a page is generally is a is a man it's a it's a masculine card unless it's referring to yourself yeah and I mean opposition in your life and what's going to cause you opposition page of wands would donate to me that if there's anything going to stop you in your plans in other words these are all set out rational well-made plans mm. mastery of everything responsibility this is going to mess it up man that, that's the only thing that could cause conflict here so what is it what does it mean okay, sorry page of wands page of wands is, is a young man okay and wands again is a very nerdy card yeah. which means the wands has, has their feet on the ground but it's also very really really energetic so it's not it's not an accountant so yeah 
yeah. you have a page of pentacle a page of pentacles is is a man who's an accountant young man and very very tight with money you know counts all the pennies yeah whereas page the wands is actually more into there's more of a creative element but wands is feet on the ground at the same time okay if there is opposition to your plans this could be it but then you have to look at if there is compatibility between wands and the other cards now wands is earth so wands is if that was air yeah air doesn't go with swords so your air and your fire which is wands there's, there's a bit of fire there the wands could be pretty fiery <laughs> fire and fire basically okay and that might totally work or it might be a total disaster because if the two fire are say have got the same plan you know you, you've got your scientific rational plan here yeah but the fire here is bringing huge energy okay but this energy is mixed is, is balanced that's what, what the page is it's balanced if you have the same plan it'll work okay and it'll be very tempestuous sips tea so this is number six this is your achievements and your outer image. Okay. And again, chariot, emperor, very, very related. And emperor, again, is mastery, masculine, in charge. Sort of in terms of the, the, the emperor has an element of justice as well. But again, it's this is how other people see you. They're looking at someone who has mastery and, and is in charge. So very like this. And again, see, so your only snag is here. The young man. So number seven. Ooh. Now, seven is, is love life. Oh, God. Yeah. And devil is basically, it looks really, it, it looks really evil and diabolical. But basically, it's in terms of lust. The de devil always stands for lust. It, you know, it's physical body. It's very, what would you call it? Sensual. So this is very a, a sensual card. So that would indicate that it's very physical. If you have a man at the moment that's very physical. Or if you've got a, an interest. <laughs> okay, keep going. Yeah. Just move on. Yeah. Is this making sense? Uh, yeah, it's making sense, yeah. This is our, our card number eight. It's a seven. This really represents, again, m material things, world, worldly concerns, career, yeah. or, 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 or artistic achievements. Seven donates a bit of a struggle. So I'm trying to ha see how that is. There's a bit of a struggle there. So there was no struggle here at all. Mm. There was a, sl a slight conflict here. But this means that there is, there's, it's more your approach. So this is actually what's happening. But this is your approach in terms of your approach to future, that there is a slight struggle. So I don't know if you've total confidence, you have a plan. So maybe there's an element of doubt there. But if you look at all the other cards, you, you, you shouldn't have that so that's really donating a bit of struggle or maybe it's struggle in terms of that you're not quite sure that mm. there so that there is an element so that you might be second guessing whatever you have yeah whatever plan you have so probably in the near future it's either seven weeks or seven months you might feel that you're totally master and emperor of knowing exactly what you're doing what you where you're going and what your plan is what you have marked out and you're so confident to that and you're totally in charge of it there might be something going to happen that isn't quite what you think mm. so to be open to that okay to just maybe leave a little little room there maybe have a little doubt and maybe question yourself a bit your motives okay does that make sense yeah um, and that maybe you don't do that and all the other cards are like so masculine and so domineering this little voice maybe that you should be listening to it a bit more and saying actually are we sure about this could i approach it a different way am i you know so just to question yourself now that's how i'm interpreting it i don't know nine haha <laughs> this is the unconscious mind and all its secrets and hidden depths it's very interesting that it is the only uh, cup the, uh, the only cups card so your life at the moment i mean even your spirit that's that's in relation to your thoughts you have swords again by the sort of tur is, is, is turmoil and that's to do with your feelings okay it seems to be an awful lot going on there and and it, it donates a sort of sadness and grieving and that your hate your faith has been dashed in, in, in the in the past that you've suffered heart, heartache five though says it again it's sort of like maybe like this to let in some in some joy and that your faith has been dashed maybe a betrayer of sorts literally what the five of cups means that um but to have faith yeah Loss, disappointment, sadness. See, it's funny because it's that's your everything else is so yeah. your emotional life is fucked up. <laughs> so and number ten. Ten is your home, family and close relationships. Okay. And I got the hermit. And the hermit. And the hermit is um it's a it's a major arcana card. 
No, it's not. Yeah, it's um, sort of an introspective hermit. Uh, obviously, an introspective card. Yeah. Interesting. It's not. You know, it's not a fiery, passionate. So it's a very, very quiet and contem- contem- contemplative card. It donates perfection. It's an integration of polarities in terms of emotional and energetic. It's illumination and the light of introspection. So maybe it's in terms of your family that you have that introspection, and in terms of insight, your family and your relationships. Okay. That you do have that, or that you haven't integrated that, because it's uh, it's one or the other, and you've decided in, again in terms of the other cards. I, I don't see any other Earth. Say if you had Earth cards, if you had a lot of Earth, there isn't a lot of balance in those cards. The Hermit Reams, you've you've really reached sort of the top of the mountain in terms of introspection, insight into how you are, how love is, how your family is, how your relationships are. If you feel you have that, have that, it's a, it's a it's a really really positive card. Okay, it means you've reached. The, the ultimate so do you think that's true I don't know in terms of uh, absolute insight which Maybe. is it's really really positive and in terms of your really to know what's important in terms of your relationships like um, it takes people many many years yeah I think I do I do know I don't understand it because it's I'm not, like I'm not a herbert it's the ultimate achievement top of the mountain in terms of um, insight into love and relationships and that you've managed to integrate the importance, say, you've, you know, that it's it's total balance and knowing what's important. That's mm. probably, that's probably the hermit. The hermit knows exactly, it's like a priest or God, the divine, that they know exactly what's important in terms of this life. So you have all this, but you actually know that that's actually not important. Yeah. It's funny because you have the devil and the hermit together. That's really, actually, that's interesting. You know, the divine card and then you have the devil. But you're able to balance and put put perspective and all that. Mm. Interesting. Interesting. Let's just look at the page again because that was, you know, just to make sure. I know you're probably, if you're single at the moment, um... If there's somebody coming along, you want to know what the story is. Yeah. So hang on a minute. Lively, intelligent, positive influence. Short journeys. Lively conversations. So it's an intelligent... Again, this person, great great conversations with them. Yeah. And on the same intellectual level. Yeah. So again, in terms of this project, whatever, you can have great chats. And the whole thing is it'll be perfection. Positive in terms of crack and having chats. Yeah. But why is it the devil though on the love life? Yeah, oh yeah, that's a good one as well. Is that obviously the same person then? So or am I the devil in the situation? And they're good. So this is positive energy, it's masculine, a young man. Because there's a positive influence in your life, it'll, it'll, it'll deter you from your plans. That's the only thing I think. Oh, right, that makes sense. But why is it the devil though? That's what I mean. That you're inclined to to focus not on, on the mind yeah. or the conversation, but on physical affection. Do you think that's true? No. Let me have a look at the devil then. We'll see if there's another... Um, maybe I'm taking it too shallow and you're not a shallow person. <laughs> the book says you may be entering... A, it says don't shudder when you see the card. Okay. It basically re- represents the material world, which is neither good nor good nor evil in itself. You may be entering a phase when money and material well-being become important. Perhaps you've rejected these things before and are tired of never having enough money. Start, no, no, no. Emotionally, okay, here you go. Emotionally, the devil warns against t- trying to buy friendship or love. Oh. There's a danger that you or someone in your life will use money as a means of controlling others. That's the warning then. So oh, okay. I, so when I say physical, it, it, it is the physical realm. Yeah. I mean, I mean I, and I suppose it's a warning in your love life that yeah. you don't try and buy over. That's, buy that over. is me i pay for all the day i pay for everything i'm not trying to buy it though i just automatically i'm like i make more so it makes more sense yeah okay yeah yeah it's about buying love i'm a big presence person so yeah I pay for everything. Yeah, so that's just saying. That's, okay. There you go. All right. It's, it's not the it's not the physical. Then it's the yeah money. Okay. You're using money. Yeah. Instead of using your body, you use money. A lively set of cards. Real masculine. Yeah. Energy. Yeah. Like look, I'm literally a man. Yeah. The devil. The hermit. The chariot. There's no queens or um, no. Um, no, no and it, like it's the emperor, not the empress. Yeah. It is very powerful. Mm. Interesting. Right. Okay, so this part of the video is sponsored by Skillshare. Thanks so much for sponsoring the video, Skillshare. I love you. Why I have it sponsored on this video, I feel like I look disgusting. Why it's sponsored on, why it's sponsored on this one is because you can actually do tarot cards. I'm going to actually just do a voiceover and show you. Anyway, enjoy the voiceover. You can actually learn how to read tarot cards on Skillshare. There's loads of online classes, especially if people are working remotely and because of there's still a pandemic and like lockdown rules, a lot of people actually can't go to lessons or even college. So I think it's a good opportunity to download Skillshare now because there's loads of things they can learn if just you're 
you're interested in it. And if you have loads of spare time, if you're, you know, if you're getting those COVID coins and you have some spare time, but you still kind of like, you feel like you need a meaning and you want to feel a little bit more productive. I do recommend Skillshare because there's thousands of online classes that you can use or watch at any time, any point of the day, anywhere you are, on your laptop and on your phone. I really recommend doing that. And I have a link in the description, the first thousand people to get two months for free. So if you do click the link, you can get it for free anyway. Uh. It's affordable then after that anyway, so I've been really enjoying the tarot lessons and you can save them into your classes for like a watch later sort of situation. It's interactive, you can do, you can get involved with projects as well. Uh, it's class. It's lethal, lads. I feel very ugly today. I hope you enjoyed the video. It kind of ended abruptly there. I hope everyone's having a great day. Link in bio for a Skillshare subscription.